Here's a 21st century dilemma for you as an individual investor and for fund managers and pension trustees who look after asset allocation on your behalf. Do you greenwash yourself and trumpet your virtue signals at post-lockdown barbecues by announcing that you've sold all your planet-wrecking shares like Shell or BP? Or do you follow the pension minister Guy Opperman's advice and hold on to them to enable these polluting giants to clean up their act without suffering a share price collapse as everyone heads for the door. Opperman says that what we want is a partnership between trustees, asset managers and the companies as they transform themselves into clean energy companies and find the solutions we all need for net zero emissions. Of course, Campaigners have been quick to point out that Big Oil spends a fortune on political lobbying, so the minister's comments might not be entirely based on his own objective analysis. Perhaps because of their historic role as great dividend payers, local authority pension funds hold nearly £10 billion worth of investments in fossil fuel companies. You can imagine political pressure to look green triggering big sell-offs, while fund managers seeking quick PR wins are already starting the divestment process. Scottish widows, usually one of the worst performers in most sectors, has announced it is selling £440 million worth of shares in companies where more than 10% of their revenue comes from thermal coal or tar sands. So, do you reward Big Oil's efforts to change, or do you penalise them for not changing quickly enough? I never said this investing malarkey was easy, so please use the comments section below to say whether you intend to sell, hold, or even buy big oil shares in 2021. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.